Yep, just welcome back to Forza Horizon 5. Where dreams are driven. Welcome back to Forza Horizon 5 and some more FH5 custom maps. As per always, all of these maps were submitted to me over on the AR12 Discord server. So mega props. If you'd like to submit maps that you've made or ones that you've played, you can check out the AR12 Discord. There's a link in the description down below and that's where you can submit your map. This is another map made by Pickle. And this map is really, really cool for two different reasons. So, so he says, import these rules to elevate your custom rivals event. If we're going to be jumping on the track for like a little track day challenge, why don't we jump in into a Ferrari? Yeah, how about, how about this act? The F12 TDF. The map itself isn't anything that crazy from what I've seen. There aren't too many props placed around it. Up in the top left-hand corner of the screen, you can see all sorts of different stuff. So you've got the time, our lap time, my potential best time, and my latest checkpoint. So I went through checkpoint one, and then I can go through checkpoint two. Yes. And then I can press the activate button to change the menu. Holy shit, that is so cool. So I think the sectors are defined by these colored things on the side of the racetrack. So right now we're in sector red. And then I assume probably halfway through or maybe a third of the way through this lap, those will change to a different color. Yes. Yes, they will right up here. We've left sector one. 75 seconds or 76 seconds in sector one. That is actually so well done. All right. And green sector is done. There's blue sector. 28 seconds for sector two. Nicely done. Now rip it, rip it, rip it, rip it. Keep going. Keep going through sector three and across the start finish line. 37 seconds for sector three. That is so cool. I think you can see what I mean by when I say the map's really nothing that crazy. Like, the, the layout of the course actually isn't that bad, but there's definitely, like, some cheesing you can do with, like... No way! I went 40 seconds faster on that sector. 102 seconds for an entire lap. That's so sick. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Sector 1.7 seconds faster that time around, which means my best lap time is now going to go down. Now when I cross the line, my best lap sectors are going to increase. Thank you very much. New fastest lap. That's awesome. Oh, oh yeah, there's also penalties uh, if you decide to crash. Anyways, once you've decided you're finished, if you press the activate button and the handbrake, that will end the event. Here's what's really crazy. You can actually take his rules to any circuit in the game. So like if I come to this blueprint here and select my Elgato race, now I can import Pickles rules into my own map. So you can see the penalty threshold. So like if you crash into the wall, you'll get a penalty and you can customize that. And you can also go and customize those checkpoints. So my track's a little bit shorter than Pickles was. So I'm going to make sector one only go until checkpoint five. And then sector two, let's make that checkpoint 10. I don't even want to imagine how long it took to mess around with all of these rules. Checkpoint one to checkpoint five, that's going to be sector one. So away we go. See HUD for more information. All right, there's checkpoint one, two, and three. All right, we're looking good. There's checkpoint four, checkpoint five. Okay, I may have made the sectors a little short, but... 12 seconds for sector one. <laughs> nice. As it turns out, I placed 50 checkpoints around my map. A little bit more than I was expecting, but there you go. Lap number one done. Sector three was 85 seconds. All right, so let's see. Sector one, 4.3 seconds faster. Okay, send it through sector two now. This is so cool. 0.4 seconds faster. I love it. That's awesome. And actually, you don't even need to end the event. Just press the activate and the handbrake button. I love that. I love that. That is incredible. Now that that rule set is a thing, I really hope and cross my fingers that racetracks in the future kind of use rules like that because they're really, really fun. How about we go from something really, really cool to one of the worst maps I've ever seen? <laughs>
<laughs> so this map is made by Coco and it's called the worst blueprint ever. So Coco submitted this map on the AR-12 Discord server and I ignored it. And then everybody on the AR-12 Discord server said that I needed to give it a go because it's one of the most painful maps ever made. What the? Is this gonna be a challenge of trying to? Yes, it is. I see why this is one of the worst blueprints ever made. I am 200 IQ playboy. Ah! These are a bit bumpy, Coco. It's not cheating, it's thinking outside the box. Where am I supposed to go now? Yeah, I've just been overtaken. Wait, how am I in fourth place? Wait, shit, no. I'm gonna need to drive through the boosty jump pad thing again. Um, follow this guy and just kind of hope. Oh my god. Bad idea. Bad idea. Okay, keep going. Keep going. Why is it telling me to turn around? I don't know, but I'm just gonna keep going. Just keep going. I think the finish line is this... Okay, this way. Okay, I've gotta go around this way. Beautiful. And then... Yeah, thank... No, no problem. You'd certainly have a headache. Oh, for God's sake, they spawned me all the way back there. 2023 Mercedes revealed. Love, Eunuch. <laughs> Coco's saying in chat, there genuinely is like an actual route that you need to take through here. Through here. Yep, just welcome back to Forza Horizon 5. Where dreams are driven. This might look really easy. But it's actually really hard. I think I might have been a bit early on my right. No, I'm okay. Nope. Nope. More le left. Left. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. No! You're welcome, by the way. I could have turned rewind off, says Coco. Okay. Then left. No. Ha ha! Yes! Okay, ah. Coco, what's wrong with you that you thought of making this map? I'm just saying. I assume I've got to do something all the way back here. And kind of like... Come around. Yeah, I've got to do something like that, I think. Alright, good to know I can blame Ank for... No way. No way. Wait, are you kidding me? I've got to make it through this? Uh, I'm gonna go this way. Yes! 200 IQ play! Get to the finish! Oh, that's not- wait. Oh, that's just a checkpoint? That's not the finish line? Keep going. I think I'm safe. I'm gonna make it! How the- Yes! <laughs> it's definitely one of the worst maps I've ever played, but I do like it. This next map is made by a guy called Big Bad Breno. This is the Grand Primo de Horizon Mexico. A custom circuit that features short straights, hairpins, chicanes, Tricky corner sequences. Again, when this map was submitted on the AR-12 Discord server, it included some super beautiful screenshots of some absolutely incredible looking buildings. So let's just do a lap of this circuit first and see how it is to actually drive. And then I want to take a look at all of the little details out here. Like, all of these curbs. Jeez, that's cool. And all of the sky bridges. Okay, we definitely are getting a couple of frame drops. This is definitely not 60 FPS anymore. Man, those buildings. You know what this kind of reminds me of? This kind of reminds me of Yas Marina. With all of these really big modern buildings that you're kind of driving under and next to. This definitely has some Yas Marina vibes. I wonder if the buildings are also shaped like a penis. That's sick. That's like a perfect race circuit. Are you kidding me? No joke. This has got to be one of the best like race tracks I've played in recent memory. A lap is only one minute long. I mean, this particular blueprint is seven laps. It'd be a lot better if it was like three or four. And then it's got beautiful looking buildings. Not to mention, most of the time we're driving on like actual road. So the grip is exactly what you expect it to be. So you're not like sliding out everywhere. And I mean, unless you mess up, you're not really scraping any of the walls. There's a couple 
of like custom floor pieces placed, but you go from custom floor back to the regular road so quickly. Whoa, that's huge. Look at all of the trucks out here. I love it. Like all of the tents with little glowing purple tops. And then you've got like this building, which is kind of like, I don't know, it's almost like an airplane hangar mixed with like a modern car garage. Double tiered seating up there. I've never seen somebody utilize the pieces like that. Now I'm just saying, imagine this map mixed with all of the rules from the custom like sector timings. That would be like the best of both worlds. It's almost like the simpler the maps are in like their concept, the better they actually play like a one minute lap on a small short circuit like that but every part of that circuit is just perfected. Awesome map. I love that. You might remember a couple of weeks ago, I featured a map by the Putty Thief. He made this really, really cool, like, Gymkhana-esque factory. Well, today, the Putty Thief is back with Billingham Gymkhana going around the 1970s layout of Castleworks Billingham, where my dad used to work. Recommended car, a stock number 14 Ford Ray Hall Fiesta. I was actually talking with the Putty thief he was saying his dad is now 75 years old and he's retired but his dad plays forza so the putty thief made this map is kind of like a tribute to his dad who's to say all of my viewers are 12 year olds some of them 75 years old that's what we like to see anyways let's go a little ford fiesta absolutely whoa Whoa, I should have taken some more speed up there. Those smokestacks are sick. Whoa, break, 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 break. I'm gonna have to learn the layout of this. This is just enormous. Once again, whoa, 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 whoa. Send it through, keep ripping the handbrake. I'm feeling like Ken Block here, jump it down. This is actually so nicely made once again. The Putty Thief has this very unique ability of making these massive structures that you can drive inside and explore. And at the same time, they are unbelievably smooth. Every little bit of this circuit slash factor, I don't even know what you'd call it, is just so well made. Like the attention to detail for all of like the smokestacks and the buildings and like the factories just Wow, holy, this place is huge. We are looking good, very, very good. This is actually so sick to drive. There aren't many circuits that make you genuinely feel like you're making your own Gymkhana film, but this one, this one certainly does. The Putty Thief has absolutely nailed it. It's just, it makes you feel like an action hero. It's so cool. And handbrake. <laughs> it's so sick. I have no idea where you'd even start. Like, this is incredible. This entire map, again, takes place out in the desert. It's actually at the dunes. But then look at this place. The amount of time that this must have taken would be just insane. I really hope the Putty Thief continues to make maps. I know he spoke about retiring. Hopefully he's back making some more maps soon. This next map was actually sent to me on TikTok of all places. A tandem drift circuit with clipping slash viewing points for drift competitions. I don't actually know where this circuit is, but based off the minimap, I guess we're going into the stadium. Whoa, this is so cool. Come on, lads. Come on, lads. You've already got some sick photo locations around. I don't really know where to drift. I'm just going to try to follow the circuit and we'll see what we've got. So you've got clipping points. Oh my God, you can definitely tell some people have all wheel drive. Look at those clipping points to actually try to like have legit drift competitions in. I knew it was too much. I knew off to solo we go. I didn't want to drift with anybody anyways. Pfft. So hold on. If I actually go in here, am I able to? Yes. Yes, I can actually use these buildings. So you can actually come up here and then park on here and you get such a sick view of the whole field. You could actually have like a legit drift competition with people and try to hit all of the clipping points. I love that competitive 
FH5 drifting online. Hold up, look at these garages too. These garages have like garage doors. Are you goddamn kidding me? Just what? Wait, am I going the wrong way? Wait, wait, guys, am I going the wrong way? I was. I, I don't know why it told me to go on the circuit the other way. Regardless, it drives amazingly well in both directions. If the developers are watching this video for whatever reason, can we please have a spectate camera for online races so we could spectate people for like drift competitions, for the Elgato races, competitive races, wink, wink, nudge, nudge. <laughs> oh. Uh, that's not so legit. All right, off to the next map. This is the Grand Duna Raceway, and this is the drift competition version. Stink basically made this whole big, massive circuit, and he made a couple of different versions of the blueprint. He also made one for, like, a track day experience. He made one for, like, A-class rating dedicated. So I guess this is using the same rules that we've been using a whole bunch recently from James Vianna. Yes, it says stop in the starting gate to begin the event. You love to see it. I love how people are using other people's rules now. That is so, so cool. All right, so let's see what this map has for us with our little BMW M2 drift car. This map, unfortunately, doesn't have like all of the apexes that we've been using today, but it is a very, very smooth race circuit out in the desert with actual elevation change round the big bank turn. I'm surprised at how smooth that is. Very nicely done. This would have been so fun to drive on online and actually tandem with everybody. This is a beautiful circuit. And run complete, 196,000 points. So if we go all the way up through there, that finishes the lap. But I did notice there's a really cool pit lane in here for us to go and explore as well. Whoa, this is that whole infield that he was talking about. Whoa, this definitely has some Willow Springs vibes. I think because of the lack of apexes and the fact that it's out in the desert. And it also has some Coda vibes as well from the big old tower at the center of the racetrack. I will say it probably would have been nice to maybe get some apexes for some added detail. Maybe we don't need so many like fence pieces all the way up there or like all of these rocks and stuff like that. I feel like it would have been cooler to maybe get some apexes to make the racetrack feel maybe a little bit more like a racetrack, but overall, this is just a beautiful race circuit. I love this. It's so good to drive. Press the activate button and the event's over just like that. Like I said, if you do want to submit a map to this series so I can play it in a future episode, please submit it on the AR12 Discord server. Shout out to all of the incredible maps today. Really cool stuff.